Welcome to my studio today. I'm working on another embryo. This is my small paintings that are six inches by six inches. I also do some that are 10 inches by 10 inches. But they're embryos, they're baby paintings. I started out my career as a medical illustrator, through doing drawings for medical books to teach doctors and did anatomy and surgery and so one day when I started, when Jack started teaching me to paint and I began doing some small things, he said, why don't we call them embryos and just kind of to pay homage to where you began with your art career. So that's what these are, they're, they're embryos. It's a gardenia with a monarch butterfly. I have painted the background with mixes of cadmium red light and cadmium red light plus cadmium red deep. The, I originally washed in the, the composition. This is a mixture of mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue, plus one part of alizarin crimson. I mixed that with liquid to make a thin oil wash that I drew my butterfly and flowers in. The leaves are washed in with washes of liquid plus sap green and liquid plus phthalo blue. You can see more of the phthalo blue part here, and this is the sap green part. That has been allowed to dry, so that's, that's dry now. I can come back in. I'm going to start painting the gardenia. And I first I'm working, working the shadows into the gardenia. And these are mixes of, I've got mixtures of my mud plus white, and then mud plus a little bit of ultramarine blue plus white. And then I have a mixture of phthalo blue plus a tiny bit of lemon yellow plus white, that makes it just a really soft green because these these petals have a kind of have a little tinge of green into the light areas. Then my lightest light is, well it's not the lightest light, but then I have a light mixture of my white plus a little bit of cadmium orange just to give some warmth into the lighter areas. And then my highlights will be pure white. But right now I'm, I, I paint the dark shadow areas first. And again, I'm going to work on this blossom that the butterfly is, is coming to get nectar from. And this, this is a called a bright brush. It's got a square, square end. And this allows me, I can paint broad areas with the flat part. Or I can use the corner to get into smaller areas. Petals cup up. I have my reference material on the tape to the easel right next to me. Cups up, this cups up. And these petals, the light is coming in from the upper left, so these petals are casting shadows. The ones that cup up are casting shadows onto the petals underneath them. get my darks. You can't have light without darks. So actually even on white flowers and all, the shadows can get pretty dark in the deep part of the shadows. I'm going to, I had some green in here, but actually I'm going to make that a white petal. And I'm also going to add, instead of this bud, I'm going to add a white petal in here. That's the nice thing of washing this in. I can kind of look at my composition and see where I'd like to make changes and, and whatever. Now this is a little lighter mixture of my mud plus white. Give me some variation in my tones. If you look at flowers, they're not all the same variation. It's not just two, it's not just a light and a dark. I'm now I'm bringing some of the blues in. This is some of my softer green. I'm going to start adding that in. You can see, I, I'll do that again. My green's a little bit dark. Let me make that a little bit lighter and softer. Um, there we go. Add a little bit of my, I'm going to add a little bit of my mud into that green so it's not quite so 
so green green. But you can see, see how my brush picked up some of that red? So I have to be very, very careful. The background is still is wet. So I have to be very careful here. Work around my drawing. I'm not going to worry about the legs. And then I can bring some of my lighter, warmer shade in here. And I want the, the light to accentuate the butterflies. This is going to be a monarch butterfly and to accentuate his head. Now I've got my red, this is cadmium red light, and I'm just going to come back in. I want to have a little bit of a dip in between those petals. It gets a little bit darker as we come down. The butterfly's head is, is casting a shadow there. Then I'll have a little light hitting underneath him here so that you'll see his legs. We've got a little, you see I work back and forth and start shaping this flower. I want plenty of texture here. I want to even just get the feeling, when the painting's dry I want to be able to just, you can actually feel those petals. light is catching these. That's a little bit of my green. The butterfly is then making a shadow come across this area. I want this to be a little bit cooler right there. And then this is getting some light on it. And then the shadow comes there. This is going to be darker in here. It's just working it back and forth. Now the light's going, this is going to be my little softer green back down here on this petal. That makes it a little bit cooler and so that drops back. And this petal is going of the flower is going to have a little more of the brighter, warmer. Color. And we're going to get a little bit of a the shadow from the wing down here. It gets, it gets this petal here casts a shadow on this part of the wing. And then as the petal dips down that shadow comes down. Kind of gets a little bit confusing as you work in here, but again, I want my butterfly shadow to come all the way across this, this petal. And a little bit of my green come in here. It's still in shadow, but it's shadows, even within shadows, you get variations of the, the value lighter and some shadows are lighter, some shadows are darker. That is too dark, but I'll come back and make that not quite so dark. And then this petal here gets some sunlight. I'm going to have an extra little petal in here that's popping up. And this catching the light there. And then we have a petal here that is also catching the light a little bit. It'll come back in front of that bud. I'm tempted to add, I'm going to add one more petal in here. You can see how I can soften that dark. This is going to be just a little bit light. Well, I made it darker. I'm going to make my cooler blue tone there. I'm going to add some white into part of that because I want that to be a little bit lighter, but I still want it to be that cool blue. And I like how my brush picked up 
some of the extra color in there. So I'm going to leave that. It's one of those little happy accidents that when you're painting, it's, it's nice to have. This is my warmer color. Let's see. This is going to be in, sh this petal is going to be in shadow. This is catching the light. And this petal here is casting the shadow in that mess. And then this petal is probably going to be, it may catch a little light on the tip of it. We'll see. Yes, that'll catch a little bit of light up here. Now I'm going to put my pure highlight on there. And this will, this is my pure white. We have one little petal in here. Yeah. I do this. I use a, I get a lot of paint on my brush because I want a lot of texture on this. And then I just carefully lay the paint on the panel because I don't want to pick up that underlying color. This is going to, going to be very, very textured. Lots of thick texture. I don't want that quite that sharp edge on it, so I can come back with my darker color here corner of my brush and do that. And I'm even going to make this part a little bit bluer. I just very carefully lay that paint onto my panel. Very lightly. I have to have a very gentle touch. And that's something that took me some time to learn as I was learning to paint. This is going to be lighter here. And actually the butterfly, this part's going to be in shadow. I realize that's going to be... In shadow there. And so this is how I get the gardenia flower started. I still have more work to do with it, but that that gives you the general idea. I just keep working back and forth to bring more detail into these petals. Again, the shadow caused from that petal will actually come up. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting. The link is in the description below. That will take you to the blog. If you'll click on that, that will take you to the blog for this painting. And I just really hope you have a great day painting. Please feel free to ask questions if there's anything I can help you with. And again, I just really, really appreciate you following. And remember this about life. Life is 10% of what happens to us. It's 90% of how we react to what happens to us. It's all about attitude. Bad things happen to everybody, but we can make, we can decide how we're going to react to that. We can act, react very negatively or react very positively. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thank you again for watching my YouTube video.